Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Sunshine. I'm the fifth presenter of today. Um, have you ever lived in a room which is not a square? Um, it's hard to, to imagine a building which doesn't have a room, a um, square room. Um, in Spain, I met some places that is totally different from um, the previous the buildings in the, this society. And I will introduce three buildings in Barcelona today. And, and all, all of these buildings are built by Gaudi. Um, look at this picture. This is the Casa Batido in Gracia, <laughs> in Gracia Street in Barcelona. Um, this house is for Batido family. Um, this external appearance is like skeleton and sometimes something like um, scary, but it's a, a beautiful. Um, it's like a wave in the sea. And let's get inside. Um, the world is not straight. Um, can you find the straight line in this house? It's impossible. Um, and the one of the characteristics of, of Gaudi's architecture is not making straight lines in his architecture. And this, is, this uh, characteristic is very well shown in this house. And look at this, this picture. Um, there is no definite form in this house. Everything is uh, smooth and fairy. And Gaudi is inspired by nature, so there is so many nature forms in this house. Um, it's like some kind of shells and waves. Yeah, it's like a fantasy. So um, this house, still people live in there, and this is one of my dreams now. <laughs> um, yeah, look at this picture. The second place is a Buell Park. Um, here again, we can see many wave lines and uh, mosaic. Mosaic is one of the characteristics in Gaudi's architecture. And Buell is one where was a rich nobleman who patronized Gaudi. And he wanted to make an ideal garden city, but he died before the plan was completed. So only this part was finished. And it took 14 years to, from 1900 to finish the work. And, and now look at this picture. And uh, I think the, the house is made of cookies. So <laughs> I want to eat them, and the <laughs> mosaic is all over the all over the park, and this is the mosaic bench, very beautiful, and yeah, and I think this is the perfect place for <coughs> enjoying Gaudi's architecture because it's a harmony with the nature. So the architecture and the nature is very well organized in. A very uh, imaginative way of Gaudi. Yeah, this one is very important. The, the third place is Sagrada Familia, which means the Church of Church of the Holy Family, which means the Jesus and the Saint Joseph and Maria. And each con construction was started in 1883 and. It was never finished, and many people expected it will it will to it will take more than 100 years to finish the work. Um, so Gaudi was died died in his way home from the this cathedral construction, and now his successors are building up this work according to his original design. And. Yeah, there is three themes in this cathedral, and this one is the the first one, the facade of the nativity, which describes the birth of the Jesus, and this is the only one finished in at present. And the next picture is about the its name is facade of the of the passion, 
the result is in crucifixion, and this is on the process beam at present time. And the last one is the facade of the Gloria hasn't started to build yet. And this pillar is like tree, tree because you know that Saudi was inspired by nature and all of his architecture was from the nature, the figure. And this one is the uh, each facade has four towers and it means that there are a total twelve towers of this cathedral and it represents the twelve apostles of Jesus. Oh, okay. the, the picture is ends and, and these three places are famous famous tourist attraction in Barcelona. And it I think is they are represent the each field of Gaudi's work as a house, a park and a cathedral. And I'm not an architecture person and I didn't know about the Gaudi before I went to the Spain, but when I saw his architecture, I cannot help but admiring the him and his work. Yeah. He is unique, very unique. You can see the all of through these pictures and and I can see his love of nature by his his architecture and I highly recommend you that if you have a plan to visit in Barcelona um, you must visit at least one of these places. Thank you for listening.